Hello! So, the New York Times has put out an announcement regarding some changes in Wordle, and so I thought I would go over this article with you guys and give my own insight there. And, uh, yeah, uh, maybe you didn't see this article, maybe you didn't see this announcement, so I think it's pretty neat. And I think that if you read between the lines, there's actually a lot being said in this short article. So let's go through it. So this was released yesterday, November 7th. Uh, it's an article by Everdeen Mason. It says Wordle announcement. And this part's basically saying, uh, <laughs> I like the opening, after nearly a year of speculation, will it finally be our fault if Wordle's harder? So this is a reference to um, people basically complaining that uh, the New York Times uh, made the game harder when they bought it, which is actually completely untrue. In fact, the opposite in a small way. So as it explains here, Josh Wordle, created Wordle. Um, he created it for a small group of friends. And so, you know, hit for his girlfriend at the time, who I believe is now his wife or partner, something along those lines. And he created the game. He didn't obviously didn't expect it to go viral, didn't expect everyone in the world to be playing it. But what happened is he basically curated a list of answers. And he just put that right in the source code that's sent to everyone's devices. Just a list of here's what all the answers are going to be because he didn't have a, a server side framework in, ta in place. And so just the, your client just goes, oh, what's today's date? Looks up, you know, which word is supposed to be for that date. And that's the word that's going to be the answer when you go to solve it. So, you know, people take advantage of this. Uh, a lot of content creators, for example, take advantage of this by, you know, recording a bunch of wordles in a row just by changing the clock on their computer. And then that way they can, you know, record those, edit those all at the same time, schedule those to upload, etc. Um, I've done that a little bit. Um, I know other creators also do that. Uh, but it also opens up this whole thing where you can just download a list of here's all the Wordle answers that are going to be out for the next five, six, seven years and, you know, spoil people or, you know, cheat, things like that. Um, obviously, cheating is always going to be very easy in this game since everyone gets the same word. But I think that's, a, that's another level to be like, hey, here's the next year of answers. So anyway, when New York Times bought the game, they they touched the answer list, but all they did was remove a few words that they were like, these aren't words people are going to know. They actually removed them and they also removed some controversial words. So all they did was, at, if anything, made the game easier. But now they're saying, hey, now it's finally our fault if Wordle gets harder. And so what does that mean? Well, they have hired an editor, Tracy Bennett, and... Tracy Bennett is going to be in charge of what word it is every single day, similar to how they do spelling being crossword. So I think that this line here is actually really important. The game will have a times curated word list. So let, let's stop there. Times curated word list. This means, hey, we're not using Josh Wordle's word list anymore. We're making our own word list based on whatever the New York Times thinks are good words to have for the puzzles. So this is huge because I think there's a, a lot of complaints about what is and isn't on the answer list. And so uh, that'll that'll be pretty great. And what they mean by this is, you know, th there are two word lists. There's the what we call usually the answer list and the accepted list. So the answer list is any word that it's basically, hey, these are the, what the answers are going to be, uh, you know, for the next few years. That's the answer list. And then the, the accepted list is these didn't make the answer list, but we'll still accept them as guesses. And so that's a very, very large list. And that's where you get words like, you know, CRWTH and Xylil and, and, you know, all these weird words you've never heard of that Wordle will accept, but it'll never be the answer uh, to the game because no one knows these words. It wouldn't be fair. So anyway, uh, this is going to be a times created word list. And, and they say later on that they're still, they're not touching the accepted list. Whatever you decide to guess is your business. You can guess dirty words, you can guess controversial words, you can guess things that aren't really words but are kind of considered words by the game. Um, as long as there's some reason that it could possibly be a word, it pretty much accepts it. Uh, but the Times will be curating what the answers will be on a daily basis. Now here's the second part. It will be programmed and tested like the spelling bee and the crossword. So especially the crossword uh, I'm, I'm not too familiar with how Spelling Bee works, but the crossword, you can't go and see what the New York Times crossword is going to be a year from now. You can't, you know, you can't see what it's going to be next week. And so what I'm hoping this means, ideally, is that, first of all, there will be no way to know what the word's going to be in two days, right? Or, or at least some period of time, like they might have some buffer, who knows, 
but it's not going to just send to your client, hey, here's the next few years of, of words. There will be no way to predict or know ahead of time what the answer is going to be. The other thing I'm kind of hoping for is, you know, they released the crossword at the at a specific time. Uh, it's not like, oh, people in Australia get the New York Times crossword 16 hours before people in California. So what I'm I'm hoping that they may do it, but maybe not, is everyone is on the same level playing field. They release the word at the same time for everybody. It's not based on your time zone. They may or may not change that. I have no idea. But based on saying it'll work like the crossword, that's what I'm hoping. Because now everyone's on the same playing field. If you load up the game at that exact time that they release the new word, there's no way someone can come in and have spoiled you. So I think there, that there are maybe some issues where, you know, depending on what time zone you're in, it could they could be releasing the word at 3 in the morning when you're asleep. But, you know, then you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is do the, the word, and there you go. So I think that would be an overall net positive. Um... And here's where they're saying, hey, the game's basically not changing. Um, they also are a bit more clear about what will and won't be answers. So they are preserving the no plurals thing. They're saying basically plural forms of three and four letter words that end in ES or S will be excluded. I think people are used to that. And so they're not going to suddenly have, you know, a plural word be the answer one day when you wouldn't expect that. You know, it won't be foxes. It won't be spots. Um, but it could be geese or fungi because, you know, that's kind of how Wordle has worked already. Where it can be a plural, just not one that ends in S. Um, so I think they're kind of preserving that vibe. But it doesn't mean that they're only going to be picking words from Josh Wardle's original answer list. So that's basically it. it it'll be a, a, you know, be a curated word every day. Maybe they'll even start doing thematic words like on holidays or something. Maybe it'll be something related to the holiday. Maybe you'll be able to guess it more easily if you can kind of metagame. Oh, today is this holiday. Maybe it'll be this word and you get it in one. That could be fun. Uh, and then also they'll be picking from a larger dictionary of possible words. So one of my, my favorite things <laughs> Or least favorite things about the, for example, the current Wordle answer list is Misty isn't on the list, so Misty would have never been an answer. It's like who, you know, they have words like Raja, but not Misty, right? But now that this will completely quash any talk about, oh, why did you guess that word? It's not on the answer list because you can say, hey, why'd you guess that word? New York Times has said they won't do plurals. Why'd you guess spots? They said it wouldn't be spots. That would be still a discussion, but a discussion of hey, there's this fixed answer list and the word you guessed wasn't on it, so it was a bad guess. Now we don't know. Um, so I think that this is an overall net positive. Um, how do you feel about this? Do you also hope that, you know, they'll do the things that I'm speculating where it's all released at the same time, there's no way to know what future words are going to be? Um, or, you know, do you not like this announcement? Are you worried about it? Um, how do you feel? If you had something that you would want to say to Tracy, what would you say? So... Uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, I think that this is an overall positive thing and something I was hoping the New York Times would do eventually. So that's about it. Um, let me know how you feel in the comments. If you enjoyed this con content, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.